There's a direct assault against the freedom of speech right now. If you haven't been paying attention, platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google are attacking people for speaking their own mind. They're attacking people for having a certain political view. They're attacking people for having a certain society view, for government view. They're attacking people that don't fit their political mode. And now this is a big problem because people's livelihood are at stake. People's videos are getting demonetized. People's video listings are getting lower on the algorithms. And some fact that people's videos aren't even allowed on the platform. So if you have a certain political belief, they're not even gonna let you publish it. Now, yes, this is capitalism. Yes, it's their own private platform. And yes, they're allowed to do what they want because it's a central, uh, it's a central control system. It's a mechanism. It's people on top, they own it, you're on it. So they tell you what to do. It's like landlords and, and renters, it's no different than that. However, this is the issue. So people talk about freedom of speech as a constitutional right. That's bullshit. Freedom of speech is a human right. You don't need any human being to tell you that you can have freedom of speech. Fear, freedom of speech is a maximum law. It's a law of the human condition. It's a law that if you are a living, breathing human being on this planet, you have the right to speak your mind without persecution, without threat, and without, without your livelihood being at stake. That's very important to understand and to recognize, okay? So this big attack right now on freedom of speech online through all these different means and all these different platforms, it's quite worrisome for me. However, there is hope. There's massive hope. And even myself, I've been getting demonetized. I'm getting delisted even though I don't do this professionally. I just do this for fun. And I'm like, wow, I can't imagine people who actually rely on income for this because I don't. So people who rely on income and I've seen from firsthand because I know a bunch of uh, people on YouTube, on Facebook, and Twitter who make a livelihood from this. <clears throat> this year alone, some of them have, their, their income has been down 60% because, because of their own uh, belief systems because it doesn't correspond with, with YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. 60%, imagine 60% of your, pay, uh, pay cut, your paycheck is cut. That's crazy. But this is the hope, blockchain. Yes, yes I know, I know. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me play it out for you and show you and tell you how blockchain is going to help freedom of speech. And if you don't blame me, I highly suggest you listen to Sam Harris's recent podcast, but he talks about this and he also talked about this on the Joe Rogan podcast talking about blockchain. So this is how blockchain is going to help freedom of speech around the world. Number one, you have to understand what it is. It's a decentralized distributed technology, meaning for example, Bitcoin, Nobody owns Bitcoin. There's no CEO, CMO, CFO, and it's decentralized distributed. So there's no center point of failure. There's no center point of command. There's no one telling you what to do. So what's great about the blockchain, it takes multitude of different technologies and overstacks them on top of each other. So if we're looking at the blockchain, if we want to protect freedom of speech, what this enables is you and I can in the future upload our videos. In fact, I'll be getting that to in a second. There are platforms and startups right now who are working on amazing solutions for people around the world that I really believe are gonna empower everybody around the world. So basically what you can do is that you can upload your content on a distributed blockchain ledger. It doesn't need to know your name. It doesn't need to know I'm Amir. A number represents who I am. And basically with this distributed, decentralized blockchain online, there's no Google, there's no Facebook, no one owns it. It's owned by the community together. There's no means of censorship. There's no means of a biased belief system. There's no means of political incentive. Anybody, doesn't matter if you're left, right, up, down, you can upload your content and no one, I mean, no one's gonna know if that's attached to your name physically. It's up to you if you wanna keep that open, but it's attached to a certain public key that represents you on the blockchain. Second of all, what's revolutionary about the blockchain, it's sensor proof, but also it is resistant proof. Like I mentioned earlier, if, for example, you and I wanted to create a new platform and go against YouTube, it's still centralized. The servers are in that building over there. They know we're in charge. They can easily go shut down our servers or just sue us or whatever. And then our platform shut down. There's no difference in YouTube. This is why a distributed decentralized platform like blockchain is sensor proof because there's no one to blame. There's no server to shut down. It's exactly, it's very similar, not exactly, but very similar to how the BitTorrent network works where everybody has pieces of the client or pieces of the blockchain on their own network and they run downloads, bits and pieces of it, okay? Second of all, what's really amazing about the blockchain that's gonna empower freedom of speech is micropayments. 
So right now there's platforms like Patreon which you can go on and support your artists through donations monthly via PayPal, credit card, etc. But what's really good of micropayments is you can even give people less than a penny instantaneously and that individual receives it instantaneously on their wallet. So there's no middleman. Remember that is the beautiful, powerful, beneficial aspect of blockchain. So if I want to send you content as being an artist that I want to support, every time that you come up with a video, I can literally send you a quarter every single time. And you're going to get that quarter within less than a 10 minutes right to your own uh, private wallet that you own. And imagine this times a thousand. Imagine this times a million. Imagine this even going somewhere even more obscured. So you can send one quarter of a penny. And, and this kind of like this democratizes the opportunity for people in poor nations. Let's say certain people in India, in Africa, Eastern Europe, certain people in China as well, that may not have a dollar to give you, but you know, if they have cryptocurrency online, they may give you one quarter of a cent. But what one quarter of a cent times a billion, that's a lot of cents. Okay, so there's one platform right now which I'm totally in love with. I can't wait till the live version comes out with, and that is Scenario. A buddy of mine, Dor, he is running Scenario, and what Scenario is, they built their own blockchain, uh, independent of anybody else. And what's really interesting about Scenario is they have different stages of their growth. The first stage, which is really clever of them, and, th and this is why I support their vision, the roadmap of helping people out there, is right now distribution is controlled and owned on YouTube. Like It's quite difficult for you and I to go another platform because distribution is not there. However, at the exact same time, we're getting censored, uh, we are getting our videos demonetized, and our livelihood is going down the drain. But imagine you can just download a plugin and this is the scenario plugin that has its own cryptocurrency called AMP. And basically, if you're watching someone's channel or, or video and you want to support them, you literally, all you got to click is that button, the AMP button, and you can, you can send them one quarter of an AMP, one one hundredth of an AMP, and they receive it instantaneously. So what's great about Scenario right now, they created native on top of Facebook, on top of YouTube, on top of Twitter, on top of whatever media platform that you're a creator on. That's the first stage. The second stage, once it gets more people and network effect, is now you can now upload your own content on the Scenario blockchain into a decentralized distributed platform that's censor proof and resistant against authorities telling you how to think, how to behave, and how to act. So yeah, blockchain, I really believe, is going to help freedom of speech. It's going to help the oppressed people out there. It's going to help content creators. Uh, increase your income and it's going to help democratize and commoditize information globally and it's up to you it's up to you who you want to choose to support and it's up to you uh what you want to say not when someone tells you what to say it's time that people understand that freedom of speech is a human right freedom of speech is not what the government tells you you and i can say what we want as long as it doesn't cause bodily harm and we're not evoking violence and death uh death threats against somebody else okay that's not freedom of speech. That is just straight out hatred and crime. That's a hatred crime. Uh, if, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna do that, okay. So yes, blockchain will help freedom of speech. Look out, scenario. I really have high hopes from it. Um, side note: I own a bunch of AMP. I'm going long on them. I think they're gonna be amazing. I think they're gonna be huge. And like always, guys. Uh, leave a comment below this video. I am giving out Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. I may throw in some other cryptocurrencies in the future. But to get that Bitcoin and Ethereum, there's a couple of criteria. A, you got to be new, okay? Uh, B, you got to leave a comment in the video, the su suggestion for the next video. And finally, if you don't have some crypto already uh, and you want to get some more like on exchange, I left a link to one of my favorite quick exchanges for like small amounts and that's Coinbase. And make sure to share this with your friends and family. Peace.